What is going on guys? Jonathan here with TechFist Lunch and Dinner and that is what TLD stands for obviously. Tech is the most important meal of the day. And I'm here with a late 2012 27 inch iMac 32 gigabyte RAM upgrade video. Now I am currently working on a more detailed unboxing and performance review all sandwiched together. I'll be covering Geekbench, speed test, the Fusion Drive, testing out the GTX 680 MX with two gigs of RAM, seeing how Final Cut Pro 10 runs. So if you guys are excited and you guys want to see that, let me know by hitting that like button. Now I went ahead and went with two kits of the Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabyte DDR3 1600 megahertz memory. So we're gonna get four eight gigabyte sticks totaling 32 gigabytes. And we're gonna go ahead and max out the iMac. Now this was a grand total of 160 bucks on Amazon as opposed to $600 on Apple. And no, their RAM isn't some special magical RAM. They're just ripping you on the price. So if you guys are interested in upgrading yourselves, I'll have a link to these RAM modules down below. Now, first and foremost, obviously, if you're doing an upgrade to your machine, you're going to want to have it turned off. But even more so now, if you look closely, right where you would normally insert the power cord, there's a little button right there that you're actually going to push to eject the RAM door on the new 27-inch iMac. Now, I'm not sure if there's actually an ideal tool for this. I went ahead and used a pop cap. It seemed to work okay. You just give it a push, and out pops the little RAM door. Now, on the flip side, it gives you a little walkthrough of how to take the old RAM out and how to put the new RAM in. So to start, we're going to go ahead and loosen this up by pressing this tab right here followed by that tab. That's gonna bring the tray down where we can then remove the old RAM. So we have the first stick, this is gonna be four gigs, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove the second four gigabyte stick, and you can see everything is open. From there, we're gonna go ahead and install the new memory. We're gonna work our way down from the bottom up to the top. Now we are on the second stick. From there, you guys guessed it, we're gonna move on to the third eight gigabyte stick. And finally, we're gonna install the last eight gigabyte stick. Don't be afraid to give it a little force. You do kinda of have to push it in there, wait for a click so you know it's there. We're gonna secure that back in place, pop back on the little RAM cover, and now we are pretty much good to go. So you can see that was pretty painless. Now just to make sure everything is in working order, we're gonna go ahead and plug back in the iMac. And then from there, we can go ahead and power it back on, get back into the Mac OS environment. And then from there, we're gonna go up to the top left-hand corner, go to about this Mac, and from there, you can see we have a grand total of 32 gigabytes of memory. And from there, we can see on the memory section, all four modules are filled up and we saved about 400 bucks as opposed to going through Apple. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Again, I am currently working on a more detailed unboxing and performance review, trying to bring you guys a ton of content and information in one convenient spot.